In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the number one way to estimate jobs to almost guarantee a true profit, and it's called the GPP system. This is the exact system that I use to transform my own company at a million dollars from losing money to one, getting profitable, and then scaling past $4 million and producing over $500,000 of income in 2023. In the last video, I share with you why the old method of estimating jobs, which is price per unit, is broken. So if you want to learn why, go check that out now. So step number one to having profitable estimates is by knowing all of your numbers and part of your numbers is your overhead. Part of the system is including all of your overhead expenses into your pricing so that way you're not hit with surprises later and you can actually project out a true profit after overhead. So what I did here is I've written down all of the examples of what the overhead items are and then on the right I gave you an example of what my numbers are in my business so that way it'll make a lot more sense if you stick all the way to the end. So let's start going through this. Number one, we have unbillable time. Not all of the time in your business is going to be billable. For instance, do you ever have to go take trucks to get oil changes? Do you do company meetings? Do you ever clean up the shop? Anything like that, you're paying for your time and your employee's time, but you're not allowed to bill it. So you gotta add all of it up, and then that's my number right there. We got small equipment, right? We need things like saws, jackhammers, etc. in our business, any of that, you put that here. We got licenses, tools and safety, equipment rentals, vehicle insurance, business insurance, indirect salary, accounting, rent, and the crazy part is the list keeps going. We got marketing, we got fuel, software, interest, depreciation, miscellaneous, bad debt. What bad debt is, a lot of times as contractors, we think that every single person that we ever do work for is gonna pay 100% of our bill. But guess what, no matter how good of work that you do, you're bound to over time get people that don't pay either the full amount or parts of the project. That goes into bad debt. We have warranties, legal fees, we even have vehicle repairs, maintenance. The cool part is if you add all of this up together, what you wanna do is total it out for me and my business, it's $1,551,000. That is all of the expenses that I'm going to pay for whether I'm working or not. That's why they call it overhead. And this is what I'm gonna show you guys on how we can actually incorporate that into your pricing. For step number two, we need a way to recapture all of that overhead that I just showed you guys and what you just added up. And I like to do that in man hours. And so what a man hour is, is every single time that you have one field staff on the crew working, that's one man hour. So if you have four people on a crew, every hour is actually four man hours, but I'm gonna show you how to calculate all this. So what we need to do is you're gonna take your field staff, times your week's work per year. For instance, me, I'm in Colorado, I do concrete and landscaping. I can only work 40 weeks per year. So I need to recapture my overhead in 40 weeks. Then you wanna multiply that by the hours per week that all of your field staff work. For me, it averages about 45. So when I do all of this for my business, I have 34,200 hours to sell. So if you think about that, no matter how much I do, how much revenue I bring in, no matter what, that is the maximum amount of hours that I'm allowed to sell. And so what I wanna do is recapture my overhead and this amount of hours here, which I'm gonna show you guys in the next one. So what we then do is we take the overhead that we figured out from step number one, we put that here, we divide our sellable hours, which put that here. And then for me and my business, it's $45.35. So what that means is every single time I have one person working on the crew, I not only have to pay their direct salary or like their hourly wage, but I also am getting charged $45 basically every single hour that anyone is working on the crew. So as you can tell, that's a lot of money. And if you're not charging enough, you're not gonna be able to one, recoup this, plus the indirect salary, but that's where we go to the next step. All right, so the next thing that we have to calculate is your direct cost per hour. So we just did your overhead, now we got direct. What direct means is what are you actually paying for employees in the field? So a lot of people, they think, oh, I pay my guys $28 an hour, and they think that that is all that they're actually paying. But you forget, you have taxes on top of that. You have state tax, you have federal tax, you have unemployment insurance, all of that stuff. That is called labor burden. So what we do is we take our average field worker's wage, we multiply it by one plus whatever the percentage that you pay. In Colorado, for me, it's 20%. So I do 28 times 1.2, so my guys aren't costing me $28 an hour, they're costing me $33.60 
and do that same calculation for you and your business and it's different in every single local jurisdiction. Now what we're gonna do is add it all up so you know exactly how much to charge for your labor to your customers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our direct cost per hour, that's what we just found out. We're gonna take our overhead cost per hour, that's what we found out before, we're gonna add those two up. This is what it costs me every single hour to have an employee in the field per hour. It's $78.95, basically 79 bucks. What I'm gonna then do is multiply it by profit. A lot of people, when they watch my videos, they think that we charge way too much, but in reality, look at here. That's what it costs me. I'm only marking up my cost by 20%. So 79 times 1.2, my cost that I'm charging my customer is $95. And a lot of you guys, you're gonna say, well, that sounds high. But here's the thing, we have to charge high to not only cover this, but mainly this, the overhead cost per hour, all these business items in your business are gonna have to pay for, marketing, insurance, truck, all the things that we went for, and it's not a guess anymore, it's fact. That's what I have to charge my customer if I wanna be profitable. All right, so we're gonna put it all together. I'm gonna do a sample bid for you. I just chose a thousand square foot patio. This could be concrete pavers. Whatever you do doesn't matter. It could be remodeling, it could be painting. Whatever it is, you're gonna use the same exact formula. So first thing that we gotta do is figure out how much we're gonna charge for labor. So what we gotta do is take the field staff that are gonna be working on the project per day. Let's say for me, it's gonna be three. The hours per day, per man. So let's just say if they're gonna be working 10 hour days for those three days, and the days worked three days. So if you multiply all three of those things together, that means we have a total of 90 man hours through those three days. Then what we need to do is take the 90 total man hours, we're gonna multiply it by our hourly rate that we just found, so that means just in labor, I have to charge $8,550 for this project. Then what we're gonna do is take our material and then also multiply it by our markup. So we're gonna take our, our markup, which is 1.2, multiply it by our material, which is 3,400. That brings us our material cost, 4,080 bucks. So the total cost I'm going to charge the customer is $12,630. The coolest thing about this is it does not matter price per square foot, price per linear foot, none of that stuff matters. All that matters is that I am doing my job at my pricing, or you're gonna be doing your job at your pricing. The cool thing is, is if this square foot, if that patio was actually way easier, and you could actually cross that out and do it in two days instead of three, well then you're not having to guess what the price per square foot would be. All you have to do is change that to a two. Now you've got 60 man hours, this goes down to about 6,000 bucks and you know exactly what to charge the customer. So no more guessing. That's why the GPP system is so powerful. When I did this in my own business, that is exactly why I wasn't making money before. I was guessing on my pricing. I was using my competitor's pricing and square foot pricing, per linear foot pricing, you name it. I was just going off what the market rate was. Why I love the GPP system is there's no more guessing and that's what you can implement too. And I've got great news for you. If you wanna implement the system and you want it to be even easier, even faster, I'm going to be working with a select few of you. If you're interested, click the link below to learn more. I have custom spreadsheets, I have one-to-one -one mentorship, and I'm gonna be teaching all about the GPP system and more, so if you're interested in that, click the link down below. Also, the really cool thing, the next video in the YouTube series, if it's out, it's gonna be right here. I'm gonna be talking all about how to use this system, but make it easier and faster, doing bids in under 30 seconds. So if you're interested in that, make sure you click the video right now and I'll see you there.